Time now for our weekly market monitor who has names of stocks that he says are immune to the ongoing trade issues at China. And he says they're cheap, too. Ernesto Ramos is with us tonight. He's head of equities with BMO Capital, BMO Global Asset Management. Ernesto, good to see you again. Welcome back. Thank you, Bill. Nice to see you. They're in different industries, but they each have, even though they're not immune to, uh, they are immune to tr trade issues with China, they do have their own issues. And we start with Pfizer. I mean, a lot of the pharmaceutical companies right now facing cost pressures and patent issues as well. Why do you like this company? Well, Pfizer in particular has a very strong uh, flagship product pipeline, as well as uh, strong protections on, on, their, on their patent. So uh, they're relatively in good or better shape than their competition. And the fact that they trade at 14 times earnings is the main driver of our attraction. So we're looking for companies that have a strong fundamental case for, for their growth and an attractive valuation. And that's uh, the case with Pfizer. All right. Then there's Citi. Everybody thought the financials would do well this year if the interest rates kept going up, but now the Fed's on hold. So what about them? Well, Citi is actually my top pick for tonight in the sense that it trades at a very, very low valuation of nine times earnings under book value. Since the financial crisis, Citi has embarked on a multi-year restructuring plan, investing in technology, and has uh, increased their profitability uh, very, very nicely. And uh, therefore, for the longer-term investor, this is my top pick uh, for the night because of, of, of those continued improvement in fundamentals and a very attractively priced valuation. All right. Finally, the, in the utilities area, Exelon, they have nuclear issues, but uh, they've done pretty well here even though there have been expectations of higher interest rates? Well, utilities have been uh, so um, overbought by investors, so, so in love by investors, that they've risen in valuation to very, very high levels. Exelon is one of the uh, exceptions. They're only trading at 15 times, which doesn't sound that, that cheap. However, the rest of the sector trades at 18 times, and they are very defensive in a, in a market that becomes more volatile as trade issues and, and, other, and other macroeconomic concerns d dominate the, the headlines. This is a stock that would do very, very well. All right. Ernesto, again, good to see you. Ernesto Ramos with BMO Global Asset Management. Thanks for joining us tonight. Thank you, Bill.